In this video, we're gonna talk about how to burp a Whipple supercharged uh, Hellcat. And this will apply to Challengers, Chargers, Red Eyes, Trackhawks, Demons, uh, any of the Dodge uh, Hellcat platform, Hellcat based platforms. This one happens to be on my 2017 um, Hellcat that I have installed this Whipple on. So the idea here is that the uh, Whipple superchargers do not come with a bleeder or burp valve like the uh, like the stock setup has. So instead you have to use the intercooler pump to force liquid through the system and then hoping to force the bubbles out. What I found is if you just get in the car, use a taser or a burn box, something like that from Z Automotive, when you turn the intercooler pumps on, and run the uh, the intercooler pump, which is which is located down here, down below. These are the feed lines for it. These two right here, uh, intake and return. It uh, you'll hear it cavitate. You'll hear it suck air, and it'll change the tone, and it'll and it'll seems like it catches fluid, and then the tone kind of changes, and then it goes back to sucking air, and it just does that over and over again, and you never see um, see any bubbles, or you really don't see too many bubbles coming into the reservoir. So. You need to basically force or divert the coolant into that reservoir instead so that it can burp itself. So the way the, the manual says to do it, I found it to not work very well. It says to grab these two lines that you add and it says to squeeze them uh, intermittently and that's somehow is going to burp the system. Really all that's doing is shutting off the flow to the, the supercharger itself, uh, to the inner, inner chiller uh, on the supercharger. I don't think that works very well. Uh, we didn't see a single bubble when we did that. It just kept cavitating over and over again. And you got to be careful because you will burn out that uh, that intercooler pump down there if it gets if it runs on air alone too long, it will burn itself out. So that's why this is super important. So what we ended up doing is we ended up using um, radiator clamps or hose clamps, and we pinched off. You can see here there's a T, or I'm sorry, a Y, not a T, a Y that comes out of the supercharger, out of the intercooler, and then it either goes over here and into the reservoir, or it comes here and it feeds the intercooler pump. And you can see if it comes into the reservoir, it's gonna come down here and it's gonna get fed right back into the same line. So it's a way to divert. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pinch it off here and we're gonna divert all the flow into the reservoir where it can burp and it has room to burp the system. Problem when you do that is the intercooler pump pulls so much coolant, it moves so much coolant that this size line is not enough to keep up with it. And uh, this is a chambered, uh, as you can kind of see through the, the indentations, this is a chambered reservoir. So it was sucking the chamber dry, introducing air again. So it was kind of ugh, just repeating it over and over again to ourselves. So what we ended up having to do is apply our clamp here, pinch it off all the way, but you had to watch. And as soon as this level in this chamber started to drop, you had to let go. But as soon as you did that, you'd, you'd hear or see some bubbles popping through on the back. So you pinch, watch the level drop, let go. Pinch, level, drops, let go. Repeat, 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 until you hear the pump down here with a constant noise, a constant um sound it won't sound like it's sucking air and then it's flowing fluid and sucking air and flowing fluid so that that pinch and release basically forces the bubbles that are circulating through the system over into the reservoir and you just basically do that for ended up taking us i don't know probably three minutes or so uh of just clamping and unclamping clamping and unclamping and i'll show you here we used a clamp like this. Uh, bought them at an auto parts store. The idea behind it is it's not sharp, it's really dull, and allows you to get in there, and you just put it on, and you just bite down. Oops, thumb and finger in the picture. You just bite down, and you're just clamping and unclamping. And that's the way you do it. Um, other people have suggested you use a vacuum pump um, uh, and hook that up on the on the cap here and use a vac, pull a vacuum on the system. Um, we, we tried and either we really suck at it or, uh, which is probably true, but uh, it just didn't end up working for us. What, what worked for us was the clamp and unclamp method. Worked really slick. Um, 
The other thing I will tell you that we did do is I did pre-fill. Uh, I left one of these hoses off, held it up in the air with a, with a funnel, and I poured as much coolant down into that until it came running back out of here, trying to just prime the whole thing up as best I could. So that's how we ended up doing it. You guys, uh, hopefully that helps some of you um, with your uh, with your Whipple installs. And in case the uh, in case you guys are still sticking around here after five minutes and you want to know how you do it on the uh, the stock supercharger, let's jump over there real fast. Excuse the uh, dirty garage here. But on the stock setup, so this is the rear of the supercharger. Um, this is the front. All right, so there's there's the front. Throttle body would normally go here. Um, on the stock setup there is a bleeder valve right here, a burp valve. And so what you do is the, the hoses, the intake and, and, and uh, I almost called it exhaust, the input and output um, are right here. So one goes in, one comes out. Those, those feed to that same two lines that we were showing one of those I was pinching off. All you do is crack this baby loose and uh, wait, till, uh, wait till coolant starts flowing out. Let it run for a minute. Crack it loose again and just keep cycling that until when you crack it open, you just get a constant stream of, of uh, coolant out of it. And that's how you burp a normal system. Dodge, uh, Dodge did a good job with that. For whatever reason, Whipple just didn't build a, uh, build a um, bleeder or burp, burp system into theirs. So there you go. That's how you do it. That is how you burp a, uh, a Whipple equipped dodge hellcat engine uh if you wouldn't mind guys please throw a comment down below if this helped um if you have any other ideas on how to do this that i haven't thought of please comment below i appreciate it that helps with the channel and helps helps things grow so hopefully next video you see we'll have this bad boy fired up and uh, headed to the track uh it's about march and uh, tracks will be opening up soon around here so I uh, hope to get this thing all dialed in. Looking for that nine-second slip still, as you guys know, if you're following the channel. Still haven't quite got that nine-second slip, but uh, this bad boy right here, I think this is going to do it for us. So anyway, thanks. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for all your uh, support, and we will talk to you in the next one.